Hi everybody, welcome to the Astrology Chat for October 15th, 2024. The key for today is to not be afraid of taking time to get into touch with your own magic, to find the art in what is uncomfortable, and to express with yourself in divine connection with God and the universe that you are present, that you are here, that you are experiencing, and that you're growing day by day. Today has a lot of beautiful aspects to it. I say this because we have the moon in Pisces for most of the day. The moon is going to be in Pisces until 4.30. There's a half hour void and then the moon moves into Aries. All through today though, um, all of these planets really meet in this very dynamic and interesting way that if you allow yourself to do the work of stepping out, right, of or stepping away to come into a place of private consideration, to come into a place of allowing yourself to have magic in the divine in your own life, becoming enchanted with your own process and committing to that love affair of getting to know yourself, of expressing yourself, to connecting with what is divine, and then taking that energy into expressing who you are. Uh, it just has a really beautiful flow. I say this because first of all, we have Venus in trying to Neptune building all today. And this is just such a beautiful aspect. If you make sure that you are focusing it in yourself and in your own understanding and making sure that your connections with other people, places, or things are honoring the spiritual and the unseen element of the connection. Now, this is especially true that since today we do have the moon that also comes into conjunction with Neptune. And this is Venus that is close in a close orb with Mercury is now. So this is having this really beautiful meaning of Pisces and Scorpio about emotions, about processing, about communication. There is an attention though with that Mercury and Scorpio building when the moon moves into Aries. So it's not quite ready to be spoken, right? You're still very much in this process of feeling it, of understanding it, of letting yourself just take the time with the vibration, with the manifestation, and not necessarily needing to put a cap on it, right, or a label on it, but just to sit with the feeling or the knowing that the spiritual entombment that's happening for you is actually a happening and you're taking your time to get to know this. And this can come in many ways, especially since we have a sextile to Pluto into Uranus. And so this is a Pluto that's now gone direct. And so there's a lot of information that's coming up underneath the surface. We're moving more into Scorpio season and Scorpio vibration. So this is all about secrets coming up. This is all about unfactors coming out, which is also why it's not really about you connecting with other people or making agreements with other people right now. It's more about you tapping into your magic, into your divine, into your cord with the universe. Definitely make sure that that is center stage for you, especially since we do have a trine to Mars. So you're going to want to do stuff about this. So you're going to want to get active. You're going to want to make moves. Again, we have noticed we have a beautiful water trine happening where your emotions really are a part of it. And that's okay. That emotion is what leads to art. That's what leads to understanding. That was what leads to passion. And you know that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's about finding that within yourself that's balanced and healthy. We do have an in conjunction with the sun and a square to Jupiter. So there is going to be tension about other people around this and what it means like to find balance in what you're exploring and what you're realizing, which is why, again, I'm saying, you know, do what you need to do, but definitely make sure that you take some time to always invite spirit into what is happening. If that means you're praying before you do something, if it means you're taking time to meditate. Again, there's this exploration in the day to find out the what is it for you that helps you connect with the divine, especially as we're now leading up to this full moon in Aries that is an interesting. So let yourself be in that cycle. I actually am really happy about coming back under these stars. These are really beautiful. I'll probably do a little afternoon chat tomorrow since so much happened while I was gone. And I love you guys so much. And don't forget, there's a whole lot of divine inside of you. Let's see what kind of art that makes. I'll see you later. Bye.